Hello again, I'm Ryan Smith. I'm a real estate agent and an educator here in Calgary, and this video is part of an ongoing series dedicated to buying, selling, and owning a condominium. Today's topic is the Board of Directors. Now in previous videos in this series, we've explored the concept of a condominium corporation as a business, and all of the owners are shareholders in that business. These shareholders must elect a group of people to manage the affairs of the corporation. This group is the Board of Directors. The Board of Directors is generally elected at the annual general meeting of the corporation. Typically, the board is made up of unit owners, although it's possible to have non-unit owners on the board as well. The bylaws of the corporation will set parameters around term, eligibility, and the number of directors and officers on the board. The most common makeup is three to seven directors with three to four officers, including a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer. Often, the attendance at the AGM will dictate the size and composition of the board. Once elected, the Board of Directors of a Condominium Corporation has five primary duties. The duty to manage, the duty to repair and maintain, the duty to ensure, the duty to keep records, and the duty to enforce the bylaws and the rules of the corporation. In order to carry out their business, the Board will often have regular meetings. Those meetings could be monthly or bi-monthly. However, some Boards will meet more frequently or less frequently depending on their needs. Since the role of a board member is generally time consuming, some corporations will engage the services of a professional condominium management company to help run their business. However, this management company will result in increased condo fees to condominium owners. As a result, some boards will choose to manage their business on their own in order to keep costs down for the owners. Thanks for watching today's video. You'll find this and all of our other content online at communitycalgary.com as well as our ongoing condominium blog.